G'day everyone and welcome to Diamond Art Waddell. Today is an unboxing video. I have a nice large box for you guys and we're going to get into that real soon. Uh, it's nicely sealed and taped up and everything and I do believe this is from a company new to me. Uh, you guys might have heard of it getting around. I've seen it on a few YouTube channels. It's called Spell Queen. So Spell Queen reached out to me a while ago um, there's been some back and forth communications going on to try and get this parcel here so it's been a little while so I'll, I won't even go into time for shipping etc um, but yeah so Spell Queen is a new company for me to try out you may have heard of them around before and seen a few different videos etc so um, I was lucky enough for Spell Queen to reach out to me and ask if I'd do some reviews on their products and they were kind enough to send these ones so I'm going to do the unboxing today and then in the near future I'll be working at one of these diamond paintings for you guys to check out. So without further ado I think that sort of introduces the box pretty well. So it's nice big um, cardboard box it's well taped up it's nice and sealed unit so I'm just going to get a little bit of something going on there with some tape. So it's and it's in good condition the box so it's arrived well so that's awesome um, yeah so just because of the what was it Chinese New Year etc etc some things and that was a bit of delay but once we actually were able to get the ones that I wanted ordered uh, they were very quick from last communication so I think you'd be fine far as all that's concerned but really um, some really great communication been going on so that was lovely just really lovely all right so I'm nearly getting into this so I'm looking really forward to opening these and having a bit of a look oh, goodness me that's a bit hard work I really have been looking forward to this so this only arrived just the other day and I am going to have time to do the unboxing video Wow, look at all these goodies here. Oh, this looks very interesting. Wow. Ooh la la. Oh wow, pouches and all. Oh, this is cute. Mm -hmm. What's this one? Unique art that sparkles. Spell Queen. Nice little pouches. So I've got this one here. We'll just have a look what's in the box first. Then I'll start getting into all that. So I've got another one, a bit smaller. All of them have this really nice, well that's a little bit different bag actually. I can't think what to call that stuff. So like a cheesecloth, I suppose, that one. And where that one's a bit more of a oh, nylon -y stuff. But yeah, they're nicely bagged. They've got little pull ties on them all. So the smaller ones have got that cheesecloth smell. So again with lovely labelling, unique art that sparkles. Nice, nice. So I seem to have four diamond paintings. I chose four. And they come like so. There's also some more goodies in the bag to check out. So we'll have a look at those. Looks like some pens. I think you got these are the kits and that they had extra pen came with them Ooh, and a new art that sparkles so I think it's like a bonus kit Ooh, that looks interesting too okay all right so there is some really cool stuff in that box and I have these gorgeous diamond paintings I'm absolutely dying to get into I'm just going to push them up a bit We'll come down here and get a real nice close look at what's in the bag. It's a really nice texture to the bag. It's got a nice um, zip lock close. And in here we have all sorts of goodies. I don't know, it's just a nice texture, that bag. You can reuse that and keep all your bits and pieces in. So we have a really nice little wax container. Ooh, loads and loads of wax in there. There is about four pieces by the looks of it. I won't try and get them all out. But there is heaps and heaps of these little beautiful ringed wax. 
and it's got a nice little, little diamond base and it has Spell Queen on the front there nicely labelled you also get a single place of sparkly pen in this kit and one of my favourites it's the skinny four placer so I'm really in need of one of these right now so that's awesome I really like those they're really handy um, I'll get to those in a minute I've got some pink pointy tweezers and they are the very sharp ones with the cover and they also have the lovely Spell Queen label on there that's really nice and these feel really good too they're nice and good um, quality basically that's what I want to get to they feel really nice in the hand mm, they're very nice I got a squishy which I can put on my little pen that's pink one this time and they do make a big difference to your um, your, your pen I think they do help and check out this tree this is huge and cool oh look Spell Queen and they've labeled them as well so that's pretty cool so you can have your own specialized Spell Queen set <laughs> um, trays and this is a I love this size this is a really nice size and it's got a spout so that's really cool and this looks awesome right up my alley it's uh, what's 12 so we have 12 individual containers so it's a small um, container which is really really well locked there we go I can do it this way today so you've got really nice firm click lids oh yeah nothing gonna get out of there nice strong locks and it holds 12 so you know if you had enough of these you could kit up and they're nice and compact you could take that for traveling etc so that's really cute as well and it fits pretty much perfect in your tray so it's a nice little takeaway traveling kit that would be very handy for that and I really like that so you can pop on the website and check those out they are available separate I believe all in one diamond paint tool bag unique art that makes you sparkle spell queen very nice now we're going to come back up a little bit and I'm going to get stuck into these um, we're going to get stuck into these diamond paintings yes that's what I'm doing now I have four to show you today get into a position we have four to show you and each one of those will come with a free pen which is in this bag here so I can show you those uh, now if you like and then you'll know that which one of them was a uh, free pen was given so we'll have a look at those pens and free shipping and I noticed on the website there's a bit of a deal at my 10% uh, off I think or something sale so check that out and 15% off if it's your first customer I believe I'm not sure but check it all out there's some sales or discounts going on wow what have I got here it's a fish pen ha <laughs> ha cool I have this like I made my own with this sort of kind of style but not quite it hasn't got a lid that's cool so it's got a little fish pen with a lid I have a pom oh wow that's so fluffy Oh, that's so nice it's pom-pom and it's sparkly single placer that's really cool and it's purple love that the other pens I've got oh wow that's my pen that is my pen look at that it's like, like a diamond cut there on this little castle beautiful I oh, love that so there's your lid and pen single place a tip go a little doodad to put on your pocket look all flash isn't that a ripper well, yeah I love that I think I'm gonna be using that very very soon and oh 
Oh, look, one of these little barrel ones. I think I've got a couple of these, but you can get little barrel ones as well. They're kind of cute. They're little single places as well. And you know what? They're only small, but they feel really nice. These sort of bobbly ones are quite comfortable because they're a little bit bigger. So they sit really well as well. So there you go. That's my four pens because I've had four paintings. So I've got four pens. Really love this one. This is awesome. I don't know if you get... If, I think it's just a random choice that comes along. So I don't know if you get the pick, but um, there's a lot of cool pens out there. So that's pretty groovy. Let me check them out. Now for the really good stuff. Yeah. Let's check it out, check it out, check it out. All right. Um, to be honest with you guys, I have sort of forgotten the, the images. So it's going to be a bit of fun and a surprise for me and sizes, etc. So we will work through them together. I'm just trying to figure out where I'll put the other ones as I go. Hopefully on the end of the table there, they won't get in the road. That's all I'm hoping for at the moment. Okie dokie. Let's get stuck in. Now, as I was saying when I was unboxing, they have a really cool um, sort of cheesecloth, nice thick material cover, which is really cool. I have not had any other diamond painting companies send me paintings in, in this way, like in a little actual cloth bag, a reusable bag. So you could reuse this to store your diamond paintings or other things once you're finished. Love that. So let's have a look at this one. Ooh, what did I get? So my drills are in there. Oh, well, like that. Okay, drills. Beautiful. Okay, so I have this really lovely owl and she's sitting in like a um, dream catcher style image. It's a full drill. This is a really nice sort of torpolini type, I suppose, the best way to describe it. Close to um, canvas. It's really lovely and soft. It's got that nice fluffy back. It's got the scallop edging. It's um, really, really nice canvas. It's got a poured glue. And I've got beautiful, beautiful sparkle in through the canvas. It's probably not coming back up there, guys. But there is some really lovely um, sparkles. Beautiful sparkles in the canvas. Wow, this is really lovely. Ta-da! So if I can stop it from shining, it'd look even better. There we go. Maybe if I just hold it that way for a moment so you can check out the actual image and the painting. So we have across the top, um, unique art that sparkles, spell queen label. We have bottom left and top right, we have our tables. And a really nice looking drill field. So we're going to come down closer. And really check this out. All right, so nice and close near the canvas. And I want to just show you in a bit more detail this one. So then you can see it's got that nice velour sort of back. Nice scallop edge. Oh, there you can see that sparkle coming through a little bit better there. Beautiful. I have a really nice thumbnail. There we go, a bit more focus is awesome. And you can just see the drilling field is really great. Look at that, nicely printed. Yeah. 
and this is our table down the sides and it gives you your measurements etc and your code so this is a 30 by 40 and I have my num DMC numbers and then my symbols there and of course each number so looking through those and we'll get really close and in focus <laughs> And we'll have a browse through what we've got on the table for this one. Okay. So hopefully it's not showing too much as I get down here. And you can sort of just see some of those symbols. 29 colours. So that looks pretty good, doesn't it, so far? And the same on the other side. And we're just going to have a bit of a look through this canvas. As I said, full drill. This is a beautiful owl. And got little feathers and stuff hanging off the little hoop they're on. Which I believe is like a dream catcher's type style thing. So that's really pretty. Now, something I would like to do because new to me. Is actually measure what I've got for my drilling area, which is pretty much 30. You can see there. And I'm going to go to the top of the images. So it comes straight down. And I am almost to 40 that way. So it's pretty much 30 by 40 for your image. Canvas size is larger. So when you are ordering, that is something you'll know from Spell Queen that they are running their sizes to image more so than canvas size. Alrighty. Yeah, beautiful back look. Clean as whistle few little fold lines but they will settle very quickly it's a very soft and pliable it's a really pretty canvas love 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 that one okay so I'm just gonna pop him to the side and I'm going to show you the drills um, these drills look really nice I don't want to pull them all out I really don't because they look so happy all together so I'll just show you just briefly they look really nice in those bags and all those lovely colours. All zip bags, so you're ready to go if you like to do that sort of thing. I've tried it. I don't mind it, but um, I don't think I'm quite used to the system, so I do like using my containers. And you have that little one there to just put a bit and pieces in as you're working as well. So um, depending on how you like to work up, but they do come in the zip bags, which I do find it very handy. Um, for when I am packing up my drills, when I put them back into bags, etc., or anything like that, I want to do. Especially these ones, they are round and they look really nice. So I think they will be what is left over would be great for um, additional projects. So yeah. So that one's there. You've got to use symbols and your code, sorry, and sizing on there. Alrighty, let's have a look at what else we've got. I've got another one here of look similar size. It's again in that nice packaging. It feels, I don't know, it feels really nice. I can't get over how it makes you, like it, very pleasing to find it like this. I don't remember what I've ordered. Okay, so nothing left in my bag. He's flat. What's this one? I've had this tendency to steer to blue. I really got to try to steer away from blue things. I notice I'm doing them, navigating blue. <gasps> oh. Okay. I can't remember, but I don't recall this image at all. That's okay. It's been a while, so my, I'm probably a bit fuzzy with what I picked out in the end. So I have another full drill. 
I have my diamonds as such again in the little Ziploc bags. They are looking really nice. We'll have a bit of a closer look at those in a moment. So this one again has that really nice um, velvety felt back and the scallop edging etc and nice sparkles. So the canvas are uniform to each other and they have this image the same side and codes etc. So this is yeah the, the very uniformed nice um, they look like they belong with each other type canvases if that makes sense. Excuse my rambling. <laughs> Just sort of trying to bring across what's happening. All right so there's plenty of glue on that on these things anyway I know that much. Okay so you've got like a before your nice um, label across the top. I have my thumbnail. I'll try and come in there and show you guys that. And this one is a butterfly with some flowers. It looks quite pretty. Here we go. Focusing now. Beautiful butterfly. All my label code etc is looking really nice and clear on this one even brighter and bigger than the last so that's 26 colors with all my dmcs etc so yeah this is looking really lovely really nice symbol clarity on the print there not really sure about some of these symbols next to each other but we'll see how we go some different things there. Now it seems to want to roll for a minute, but the image you see it's sort of like uh, the the traditional sort of oopsie. What have I pressed? Nothing. Okay, good. Um, gridded sort of style edge, you know. So we'll see how this image comes up it looks very pretty in the thumbnail and even just on the canvas you can see it comes across nicely so it's a good size I think for this image and you can choose sizes so I've just gone with 30 by 40 just because um, one it's a nice size to work on I think a lot of people like this size so I wanted to feature that and also um, it is a workable size it's really nice to work on but it's also the size that's going to probably be you know in people's budgets a little bit better so they'd be probably hoping to you know uh, look after your back pocket the best it can so showing you some images in the 30 by 40 range which is a little bit cheaper but if you really like an image and it's got a lot of detail definitely go bigger that's always the best way but um, yeah and you can do that spell queen allows you to choose sizes and yeah you just pay the difference obviously so that's the option it's a really nice option to be able to increase your size on an image some sites don't allow that but this one does so it's awesome i like that idea so yeah so that's one of the features there and each one of these comes to say with one of those pens i showed you at the start so check out the website that explains that better than I can. <laughs> so anyway, that is the beautiful butterfly. You can see you got another table down there. Bits and pieces on the bottom of the canvas as well. Saying do not iron, etc. <laughs> etc. Et and you don't need to. These are really sitting. Look, I've just rolled that out and look, it's sitting really neatly. You can work on this straight away. I'm just going to pop that one to the side as well. And there are the drills that we'll have a look at some of these a bit closer. I don't want to pull all of the drills out of each one. I don't think it's necessary when you have someone who's going to keep uh, uniform to their um ordering sort of thing sometimes when different brands come through in the same order from the same people it's good to check them out but i think these will be very similar in fact they look 
yeah like there's some of the same color but they are of good quality I'll try and get a little bit close up so you can check those out for yourself there we go so as you can see the really nice looking um, drills look nice and clean and once I get them on the canvas I'll be able to bring them back and show you how they sparkle etc on there yeah nice zip bags got the big numbers on there as well so that's really handy um, especially if someone like myself that works from the number code on the side there I just do the 1 to 26 in this case of colors and that's what I reference back and forth to so it's a really easy way to referencing back to what symbol you're on for example number 11 is a P so I'll just keep doing those so yeah that's very handy that's very nice oh dear I've got to put them all back into some sort of order <laughs> oh sorry 9 and 10 are actually different shades there pretty groovy eh so it's very neatly packaged I'm really liking that it's just giving everything a really lovely feel and I really haven't and I'll never will make that nice and neat again but yeah they are presented well so that's really good I don't think I've got a code on that bag though so I'll have to be careful which ones oh I do I think I just covered up the eye that's okay okay so that's that little pocket emptied as well for the third beautiful canvas I will have voila some more lovely drills wow look at the bright colors in that one what is this one come out come out wherever you are so there's no additional plastics or anything these sleeves these material sleeves is what's on the canvas what's why won't they come out what am I hooked on or something am I there we go so I was just a little bit hooked with the canvas on the material um, where it's stitched back you know the edging on the corner there so just be careful when you're pulling out your canvases oh yes oh yes <laughs> That is so cute. It's a puppy dog. Look at this little puppy dog. Isn't he adorable? I think it's going to drill up better. Anyway, I got this puppy dog on the beach and it just, just reminded me so much of um, another little puppy dog I know is living on a beach at the moment. And I thought that's so cute with the umbrellas. Beautiful bright colours. So we can have look some of the beautiful colour palette. Exactly the same type of canvas. So I won't go through that again nice and pliable now if we can get a nice shot of this there we go so that is the image isn't that gorgeous that is the cutest little thing I think I've ever seen look at that or well, at least one of the top 10 <laughs> that is a beautiful image of him on the beach a 30 by 40 once again and yeah that is just adorable some really nice symbols um, print there as well a nice color blocking going on I'm looking forward to do this one's very nice bright colors this is so cute hopefully the little puppy dog's face comes out with the sunglasses look just looking he's just like yep I've got this really adorable um, so I have 29 colors in total and a really good clear printed Some darker ones there but I should be fine hopefully these are interesting dollar signs and I'm not sure is that a anchor <laughs> I don't know but yeah some in different um, few different symbols but a lot of numbers and letters etc yeah and DMC's as well so lots of colors that's really good 
more colours with round the better um, finished product I'm going to get from it. My focus is all over the shop. So the print on this is really lovely. I've still got that nice pour glue. I've got a nice sparkle canvas. Comes away really well. And if I could do it right, it'd fold down. <laughs> there we go. And look at that. That's just half of it and it's sitting down really nice and flat. You can work on these straight away. There's no, I don't think there's an issue there at all. Beautiful back on them. That's really good. Like that. And these are the drills. All again in nice Ziploc bags. It's all nice and uniform, this idea. Just going to have a look at these colours really close if I can. Getting closer. So there we are. We'll have a bit of a look at the colours this way. I really don't want to pull them out of the bag. And you can see some beautiful colours. I love this orange. Lots of blues, pinks, purples. Very, very nice drills. I think they're going to work up really nice, these diamond paintings. I'm looking forward to doing one up real soon and be able to come back and show you guys like that. Some really pretty colours. I do like the way they put their drills together. 29 colours in total. Nice big stickers. Yeah, this looks pretty good. Pretty happy with that. The only thing is, um, is interesting is that I've only got that one big kit to work from and I've got four diamond paintings. So say if I was buying these as gifts and I wanted to send them to different people, I'll come back and get a bit. It could, yeah, that's an, it can be issue. So I'm not sure what the go was there. I might just ask her about that. And I'll add any information into the description box of this video when I um, find out a bit more because I want to try and get this up as soon as possible. So either or both, I'll put some in the description box um, to come back and check that out. If I found out before I've had a chance to put this video up, I'll leave a little disclosure in about this section. Yep. Alrighty, so this one is obviously a lot bigger. Well, a fair bit bigger anyway. So you can get multiple sizes, as I said. Ooh. What is this? What is this? Put that over there. What did I do this time to myself? Ooh, this is interesting. Alrighty. Roll him out. Do, 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 do. <gasps> wow. I forgot what I asked for, so um, I'm just like astonished. I said, wow, did I pick that out? I don't recall. I don't know. I don't recall this one either. <laughs> but it's very cool. I think I'll um, see. Hmm. I don't recall this one either, but that's okay. It's very nice. It's, it's got a kitty cat, so it's very unique looking style. Diamond painting. So this is pretty cool. Lots of nice yellows and reds. A bit of blacky colours. It's not blocked by the looks of it, so that's going to be interesting. Let's try and just get it all in their shot there for you. Maybe I should just go up a tad. Just a tad. Wow. There you go. So it's um, it's got this rose and the kitty cat sitting in there. I believe he's got some like little butterfly wings. So he's sort of a half butterfly, half cat. He seems to have a key hanging from his neck. And then I have some butterflies and swirls and I've got a nice framed, oval frame. Um, a red with a yellow background uh, highlighting that image of the cat and rose. 
I have 25 colours in this and we'll come down and have a look at um, the details of the canvas. And this one is a 45 by 60. Now none of that's sounding familiar because I don't think I would have went for that size but that's okay. It's pretty cool. We'll just go with it, shall we? At this point in time. So I don't think, it's a 45 by 60. I don't know, I'll have to check my things, but I don't recall this one. It's an interesting image. Really nice um, print of symbol quality. Again, it's quite clear. A few interesting ones, of course, but other than that seems to be their go-to. These could get a little, I hope they're not too close together on the canvas because they can be a bit close to each other, like this, whatever that is, and why, you know. Oopsie daisy, now I'm doing the I'm not in focus problem. See, and that's what I was like here, where you've got this symbol and Y and arrows. That could be a bit harsh on the eye. M and N's, but they are different colours, so that's good. Yeah, see how we go. All nicely printed. Bit different though, eh? Wow. This will be, oh, I'm interested on how this will come up because it's quite a decent size, isn't it? 45 by 60, they say. Well, let's find out if that's um, my canvas or my image. The last ones have been image, so we'll just check with the big one as well. I'm going to go try and get onto the edge here and I'm going across and I am yeah I'm pretty much 45 that way so yeah these are definitely um, print not canvas with their measurements so again, I'm going to go up there as best I can. Follow it through as straight as I can. And it's probably 55, 50, sorry, 59 and a half, but you know, pretty good. So closer to image than canvas size when you're ordering. So that's good. I like that. That is very good. So yeah, uh, yeah, that's just getting me this picture. It's really interesting. Very different. I, it's not something I don't know if I'd go and grab it, but I do like it. But anyway, and this is the drills again with a round I believe, one moment, I'm just checking to see if you can have different sorts of drills. Now I know you can, oh, drill size in centimetres. Yeah, so you can choose for most, I don't know if it's all, but most of the ones I've picked so far, I believe you can have round or square drills. I've got round because I like working with round the most. But I am thinking of getting a few square ones um, here and there to try from certain places. I think Spell Queen would be one of the ones I would like to try a square from. And a couple of others there. Just to see how they go. I've had a few, you know, some early early diamond painting days experience with squares and they, and they weren't fitting so good. But um, you sort of learn as you go through uh, your diamond painting journey that it's not always the square drills you know have to be nice and straight and good quality to work well so you sort of learn that so certain companies I think I'd give it a go 
but I have used all rounds in this one so I'll be showing some rounds but you can choose if you like square drills uh, that is on offer from Spell Queen as well as size of canvas now I've just not this particular one I'm looking at but I've just picked a random image of uh, what was it the flowers or something it was and I've got everything from 25 by 25 to 120 to 120 and everything in between really so there is a great vast amount of sizes this one has eight different sizes you can choose from so you can go and you know from there I don't know if I can quickly find this image it would be awesome if I could and find out that but yeah I'll add the spell queen website link down below and hopefully I can find the links to all these diamond paintings I've shown you today as well and, um, and I'll include that down in the description box for you guys to check out there's lots and lots of images there so um, browse away and check them out and just you know try your best to pick you know the good images for your canvas size and all that sort of stuff so yeah you know what I mean like you know be careful of your image if you can't help it it's not weird you know I don't get into people about that too much hit the drum on that because it's just easy enough to collect something I may even have something here I wouldn't know so anyway what I wonder what this would be under so you do have uh, recommended collections flowers cabins butterflies cats oh well, this is in cats and butterflies so we'll try that oh yes here we go it's come up quick view so you hit the quick view on here okay so basically I can um, so that is my image there I found on the website of this particular dime painting so it was it's because it's in categories it was under cats so it was kind of easy to find so hopefully that's the same with every other bits and pieces so from 38 27 I think this is US you got some sales going on at the moment at the time of this video oh look at him he's cute so yeah there's quite a few different things there to check out and they pretty much have um, a quick view selection allows you to see the image Oop, that's the second image next to that so you can skip image to image by looks of it Ooh, what else does it do anything where does it get me the oh sorry scroll up so once you saw your image you can just scroll up and you'll have things like your model number your pricing you can pick your rounds for example and it'll come up as round um, and then you can pick your size in this case this one has six categories and it's recommending 30 by 45 so you collect that and it comes up here as selected or if you want bigger your price changes as well so you can sort of have a bit of a look on how much you're willing to pay and what size canvas you want and at the moment there's 10 percent off with two or more dp kits extra 15 on your first order free shipping and pen and every tool you need to get started including in this kit so that's interesting so pretty much that gives you just a quick sort of look at some of the things you get on the spell queen site there you go so hopefully that worked out without scaring too many people but it's interesting that there's no actual um, other kit 
in here so I'm going to just shoot a message and find out what the go is with that not that I need them or want them I just want to know is that the normal go basically with these but yeah um, lovely canvas quality the drills look good I like this um, you know environmentally friendly sort of idea of packaging and it can be sort of reused for something I am sure even is storing back um, your spare drills uh, yeah I don't know you can think of something for that that's pretty cool so I like that there's a lots of lots of positives I can see so far so um, yeah thank you to spell queen for sending out these pieces gifted to me to check them out with you guys and work up and bring back to review so I will do that in the near future, just bringing one at a time here and there, I suppose. See how I go. <laughs> I never know how I'm going to fit everything in, but I sort of get there in the end. So, yeah, some really nice drills. I don't even know if I got to them because I sort of got a bit distracted. But, yeah, they look really nice. Beautiful colours. You can see lovely um, oranges and browns and reds, etc. And it's on the canvas, so you know, you know, you got your right drills and they look nice and they look like they're going to come up really great so that's it um that's pretty much everything as i said i've had this nice full-on kit i'm not sure if that's just your standard but i think it was something i'm not 100 percent sure but you know i'll add some information shortly so um pretty much that's everything from spell queen thanks for checking them out with me have a look for yourselves and see what you can find on the website um, links are down below for you guys to check out and yeah I'm, i really love the canvas is really nice i must say it's a beautiful quality canvas i really love that it's nice and soft easy it's a really nice soft canvas um it's sitting really nice and flat or straight away so that will be great because you can work on your project straight away um they're the things i'm noticing at the moment um, unboxing spell queen for the first time here on the channel so uh, i'll just take this time to thank all my viewers and subscribers and i hope you enjoy my videos including this one from spell queen and yeah if you'd like to help me out and hit that like button that would be much appreciated and if you like to leave a comment on the things you've seen today or question, um, shoot me one of those and I'll do my best to answer that, etc. And um, yeah, thank you very much for liking, subscribing and watching the videos. I do appreciate that and I want to let everyone know that. So hit that bell if you'd like to know when I'm uploading next. And yeah, have a great day guys. And thank you very much, and I'll see you next time. Until then, be your life beautiful with Diamond Art. This is Dale signing out. Have a great day, guys. Bye for now.